In mathematical analysis, the Kakutani fixed point theorem is a fixed point theorem for set valued functions. It provides sufficient conditions for a set valued function defined on a convex, compact subset of a Euclidean space to have a fixed point, i.e., a point which is mapped to a set containing it. The Kakutani fixed point theorem is a generalization of Brouwer fixed point theorem. The Brouwer fixed point theorem is a fundamental result in topology which proves the existence of fixed points for continuous functions defined on compact, convex subsets of Euclidean spaces. Kakutani's theorem extends this to set valued functions. The theorem was developed by Shizo Kakutani in 1941, and was used by John Nash in his description of Nash equilibria. It has subsequently found widespread application in game theory and economics. Statement Kakutani's theorem states Let S be a non-empty, compact and convex subset of some Euclidean space Rn. Let phi, S to S be a set valued function on S with a closed graph and the property that phi x is non empty and convex for all x in S, then phi has a fixed point. Definitions Set valued function a set valued function phi from the set X to the set Y is some rule that associates one or more points in Y with each point in X. Formally, it can be seen just as an ordinary function from X to the power set of Y, written as phi, X to Y, such that phi X is non empty for every X element of X in X. Some prefer the term correspondence, which is used to refer to a function that for each input may return many outputs. Thus, each element of the domain corresponds to a subset of one or more elements of the range. Closed graph A set-valued function phi, x to y is said to have a closed graph if the set x, y, y element of phi x is a closed subset of x times y in the product topology i.e. for all sequences x n n element of n display style x underscore n underscore n in mathbound n and y n n element of n display style y underscore n underscore n in math bound n such that x n x display style x underscore n to x y n y display style y underscore n to y and y n element of phi x n display style y underscore n in var phi x underscore n for all n display style n we have y element of phi x display style y in var phi x fixed point let phi x to x be a set valued function then a element of x is a fixed point of phi if a element of phi a Topic. Example 
let f x be a set-valued function defined on the closed interval 0, 1 that maps a point x to the closed interval 1 minus x, 2, 1 minus x, 4. Then f x satisfies all the assumptions of the theorem and must have fixed points. In the diagram, any point on the 45 degrees line, dotted line in red, which intersects the graph of the function, shaded in gray, is a fixed point. So in fact there is an infinity of fixed points in this particular case. For example, x equals 0.72 dashed line in blue is a fixed point since 0.72 element of 1 minus 0.72 2, 1 minus 0 0.72, 4. Equals. Topic non example equals the requirement that phi x be convex for all x is essential for the theorem to hold. Consider the following function defined on 0, 1, phi x equals 3 quarters 0 by 0 0.5 3 quarters, 1 quarter x equals 0 0.5 1 quarter 0 0.5 x 1 display style var phi x equals begin cases 3 quarters and 0 leq x the function has no fixed point Though it satisfies all other requirements of Kakutani's theorem, its value fails to be convex at x equals 0 0.5 equals Topic: Alternative statement equals some sources, including Kakutani's original paper, use the concept of upper hemicontinuity while stating the theorem. Let S be a non-empty, compact and convex subset of some Euclidean space Rn. Let phi, S to S be an upper hemicontinuous set valued function on S with the property that phi x is non empty and convex for all x in S, then phi has a fixed point. This statement of Kakutani's theorem is completely equivalent to the statement given at the beginning of this article. We can show this by using the closed graph theorem for set valued functions, which says that A for a compact Hausdorff range space Y, a set valued function phi, x2y has a closed graph if and only if it is upper hemicontinuous and phi x is a closed set for all x. Since all Euclidean spaces are Hausdorff being metric spaces and phi is required to be closed valued in the alternative statement of the Kakutani theorem, the closed graph theorem implies that the two statements are equivalent. <laughs> <laughs> applications Game theory The Kakutani fixed point theorem can be used to prove the Minimax theorem in the theory of zero sum games. This application was specifically discussed by Kakutani's original paper. Mathematician John Nash used the Kakutani fixed point theorem to prove a major result in game theory. Stated informally, the theorem implies the existence of a Nash equilibrium in every finite game with mixed strategies for any number of players. This work later earned him a Nobel Prize in economics. In this case, S is the set of tuples of mixed strategies chosen by each player in a game. The function phi x gives a new tuple where each player's strategy is her best response to other players' strategies in x. Since there may be a number of responses which are equally good, phi is set-valued rather than single-valued. Then the Nash equilibrium of the game is defined as a fixed point of phi, i.e. a tuple of strategies where each player's strategy is a best response to the strategies of the other players. Kakutani's theorem ensures that this fixed point exists. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> General equilibrium. 
In general equilibrium theory in economics, Kakutani's theorem has been used to prove the existence of set of prices which simultaneously equate supply with demand in all markets of an economy. The existence of such prices had been an open question in economics going back to at least Walras. The first proof of this result was constructed by Lionel Mackenzie. In this case, S is the set of tuples of commodity prices. Phi X is chosen as a function whose result is different from its arguments as long as the price tuple X does not equate supply and demand everywhere. The challenge here is to construct phi so that it has this property while at the same time satisfying the conditions in Kakutani's theorem. If this can be done then phi has a fixed point according to the theorem. Given the way it was constructed, this fixed point must correspond to a price tuple which equates supply with demand everywhere. Fair division Kakutani's fixed point theorem is used in proving the existence of cake allocations that are both envy free and Pareto efficient. This result is known as Weller's theorem. Proof outline S equals 0, 1 The proof of Kakutani's theorem is simplest for set-valued functions defined over closed intervals of the real line. However, the proof of this case is instructive since its general strategy can be carried over to the higher dimensional case as well. Let phi 0 1 2 0 1 be a set valued function on the closed interval 0 1 which satisfies the conditions of Kakutani's fixed point theorem. Create a sequence of subdivisions of 0 1 with adjacent points moving in opposite directions. Let ai by pi chi for i equals 0 1 be a sequence with the following properties. Thus, the closed intervals AI, by, form a sequence of subintervals of 0, 1. Condition 2 tells us that these subintervals continue to become smaller while condition 3 6 tell us that the function phi shifts the left end of each subinterval to its right and shifts the right end of each subinterval to its left. Such a sequence can be constructed as follows. Let A0 Topic zero and B zero one. Let P zero be any point in phi zero and Q zero be any point in phi one. Then conditions one four are immediately fulfilled. Moreover, since P zero element are phi zero zero one, it must be the case that P zero zero and hence condition five is fulfilled. Similarly condition 6 is fulfilled by Q0. Now suppose we have chosen AK, BK, PK and QK satisfying 1 6. Let M equals AK plus BK, 2, then M element of 0, 1 because 0, 1 is convex. If there is a R element of phi M such that R M, then we take Ak plus one equals M BK plus one equals BK PK plus one equals R QK plus one equals QK otherwise, since Phi M is non empty, there must be a S element of Phi M such that S M. In this case let Ak plus one equals Ak BK plus one equals M PK plus one equals PK QK plus one equals S. It can be verified that AC plus one, BK plus one, PK plus one and QK plus one satisfy conditions one six. 
find a limiting point of the subdivisions the cartesian product 0 1 times 0 1 times 0 1 times 0 1 is a compact set by tikhonov's theorem since the sequence and pn bn qn lies in this compact set it must have a convergent subsequence by the bolzano weierstrass theorem Let's fix attention on such a subsequence and let its limit be a asterisk, p asterisk, b asterisk, q asterisk. Since the graph of phi is closed, it must be the case that p asterisk element of phi a asterisk and q asterisk element of phi b asterisk. Moreover, by condition 5, p asterisk a asterisk and by condition 6, q asterisk b asterisk. But since by minus a i two minus i by condition two b asterisk minus a asterisk. Topic lim b n minus lim n lim b n minus n. Topic. Zero. So b asterisk equals a asterisk. Let x b asterisk equals a asterisk. Then we have the situation that phi x q asterisk x p asterisk element of phi x show that the limiting point is a fixed point. If p asterisk Topic Q asterisk then P asterisk X equals Q asterisk. Since P asterisk element of phi X, X is a fixed point of phi. Otherwise, we can write the following. Recall that we can parameterize a line between two points A and B by 1 T A plus T B. Using our finding above that qx equals x minus q p minus q p plus one minus x minus q p minus q q display style x equals left frac x q caret asterisk p caret asterisk q caret asterisk right p caret asterisk plus left one frac x q caret asterisk p caret asterisk q caret asterisk right q caret asterisk it once again follows that x must belong to phi x x since p asterisk and q asterisk do and hence x is a fixed point of phi topic <laughs> s is an simplex in dimensions greater 1 n simplices are the simplest objects on which kakutani's theorem can be proved Informally, a n simplex is the higher dimensional version of a triangle. Proving Kakutani's theorem for set-valued function defined on a simplex is not essentially different from proving it for intervals. The additional complexity in the higher dimensional case exists in the first step of chopping up the domain into finer subpieces. Where we split intervals into two at the middle in the one-dimensional case, barycentric subdivision is used to break up a simplex into smaller subsimplices. While in the one-dimensional case we could use elementary arguments to pick one of the half intervals in a way that its end points were moved in opposite directions, in the case of simplices the combinatorial result known as Sperner's lemma is used to guarantee the existence of an appropriate subsimplex. Once these changes have been made to the first step, the second and third steps of finding a limiting point and proving that it is a fixed point are almost unchanged from the one-dimensional case topic <inaudible> arbitrary s kakutani's theorem for n simplices can be used to prove the theorem for an arbitrary compact convex s once again we employ the same technique of creating increasingly finer subdivisions but instead of triangles with straight edges as in the case of n simplices, we now use triangles with curved edges. In formal terms, we find a simplex which covers S and then move the problem from S to the simplex by using a deformation retract. Then we can apply the already established result for n simplices. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Infinite dimensional generalizations. Kakutani's fixed point theorem was extended to infinite dimensional locally convex topological vector spaces by Irving Glicksberg and Kentucky Fan. To state the theorem in this case, we need a few more definitions. Upper hemicontinuity a set valued function phi, x2y is upper hemicontinuous if for every open set wy, the set x, phi x w is open in x Kakutani map Let x and y be topological vector spaces and phi, x2y be a set valued function if y is convex, then phi is termed a Kakutani map if it is upper hemicontinuous and phi x is non-empty, compact and convex for all x in x then the kakutani glicksberg fan theorem can be stated as Let S be a non-empty, compact and convex subset of a Hausdorff locally convex topological vector space. Let phi, S to S be a Kakutani map. Then phi has a fixed point. The corresponding result for single valued functions is the Tikhonov fixed point theorem. There is another version that the statement of the theorem becomes the same as that in the Euclidean case. Let S be a non empty, compact, and convex subset of a locally convex Hausdorff space. Let phi, S to S be a set valued function on S which has a closed graph and the property that phi x is non empty and convex for all x in S, then the set of fixed points of phi is non empty and compact. <laughs> Anecdote In his game theory textbook, Ken Binmore recalls that Kakutani once asked him at a conference why so many economists had attended his talk. When Binmore told him that it was probably because of the Kakutani fixed point theorem, Kakutani was puzzled and replied, What is the Kakutani fixed point theorem? <laughs>